<laughs> Moment of truth. We're gonna try the ghost shrimp here that we were using as bait. Look at that weird looking thing. Oh my goodness. It's a very special day because my cousins are here. They're visiting us from Maryland. These are my close little cousins. This is my cousin Daniel, Alex, Andrew. If they haven't been to Florida before, they haven't done the fishing. And you guys already know Steven. We have this really awesome RC boat that surfs through waves and drops bait out really deep. And we're excited to catch a bunch of fish today. So follow us. most of the stuff <laughs> which means you got to be slow and careful this is what we're going to carry our fish in if we catch fish Dude, we should eat one of these. You can eat them. Let's take them home and fry them up. Oh, right here. Is that alive? Yeah, it's called a ghost shrimp. Why do I look like this? 50 bucks if you eat one live. So, guys, he says 50 bucks if you eat one of these live. You had to chew it up. No cap. I'll chew it up. 50 bucks. We'll save that for the end. You have to watch the whole video to see Daniel <laughs> eat one of these ghost shrimp. Siblings are dating. <laughs> <laughs> This is why they call them ghost shrimp because they just slowly like rise up out of the sand when you pump them out. We're gonna take these home to eat them. Now we got enough bait. I also have crabs, I also have shrimp, but it's good to have live bait and it's good to have different kinds of bait. So we're gonna take our bait, go to my other hole over there, cast my rods out, and I also have a boat that I wanna use to drag my lines all the way out there. So it's high tide right now, during high tide, all the flats get covered up and the deep pole gets further out there. Think about it. When it's a low tide, you can walk up and cast right into the deep pole. When it's a high tide, all that water comes up, covers the flats where you're standing for. So I think that using the boat and bringing it out to the hole is going to be a good idea. So that's my next move. I got to show these new generations of kids how to fish. Here, flip it down, catch the fish on the top and the bottom, both at the same time. Do the same thing on that one. This rig, this one's a really big fish. Whatever we catch is going to be a big one on this one. Yeah, we're using the boat. Yeah, the boat. Boat. Okay, this is a fish finder rig, okay? Look at this. This is a sliding sinker. You put this fine on sinker on here, flip it on. So first take the head off, just rip it off, then deshell it. No, don't give it to the birds because we're going to get swarmed by a million birds. It's going to be bird island here. We're going to put it on the hook, thread it through once, like that, pretty much as many times as you can. Steven, just littering. Did you get it? No littering. 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 Pick up your trash. Put them on the Put them on the bait. Dan, you're putting this one on. Rip off the head. Uh. Wow, gorgeous. Beautiful. 
Yay! A plus. Now the most important part. I have this bait elastic. Now this is just the one we sell on our website. I call it Invisa Thread. We're gonna use it. We're gonna thread our bait onto the hook like this. So it doesn't come off. Now it's stuck on there. You see this thread? See how Wrap it around so that little fish can't just eat your bait in one second. Here we go, we got the RC boat again. Today we have different baits. It's a new day. We can catch all sorts of different kinds of fish. Yeah, it's cheating. Who cares? I'm not competing against anything. I'm just trying to have fun. So you'll see the crashing waves right here, that's all shallow. Deep water is right behind the crashing wave. Yeah, okay. Deep, and then it crashes on the sandbar. That's why it's white. So if you see white, behind that white is going to be the sandbar. Right. So I had to take this boat and drive it past that, uh -huh. which is pretty far. I wouldn't be able to cast there. Yeah. Cut the feet off like this, and you'll see all these four legs. One, two, three, four, five, right? Each one of these legs is a compartment. You can take one at a time, or you can, I'm gonna just do half, a quarter of a crab like that. Cause last time I caught a red fish, the one that we ate for dinner, I opened his stomach. Inside his stomach was full of crabs. That's why I brought crabs this time. Because I knew it was eating crabs out here. So maybe we'll get another red fish. We're gonna do it through this knuckle right here. There you go. Now turn it to see. Closing it up. Fail. Open. Go! Go that way! Go that way! Go that way, Andrew! Go that way! Go that way! Go that way! Go that way! Go shrimp now we're gonna put it on the hook like this like this and then like this and we're gonna take the bait elastic you can't even use this bait without the bait elastic there we go
and chips. Yeah. All right, we just need 10 more of these. Okay, that's easy. <laughs> what is that? It's called a whiting. But yeah, give it a kiss. This. Is it a boy or girl? It's a girl. Five bucks. No, five bucks. Just give a kiss. No. <laughs> I'll make you fish and chips. No. Okay, you don't get fish and chips. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> That is the tiniest little shrimp I ever seen. You're gonna have to do a little bit bigger than that. He has personality. <laughs> but he's got personality. <laughs> the fish will like it for the personality, right? Reel it, okay? There you go. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go up, reel it down. Up, reel it down. Come on! He's got a big one! There ain't no fish, Steven! Come on! Come on, Steve! Come on, Steve! That's gonna hold Get it in! Woo! Yeah, it's a red drum! Bring it in, Dick! Bring it in! Oh, yes. You got it! You got it! You got it! You got it. Yeah. Nice, Steve, come on! Oh, yeah! That's the red fish we were waiting for. Dude, we are having fish and chips! Yeah. Fish, Daniel. Might be a small one. Let it eat. Let it eat. right here and just twist the hook. Is that our 
fish. Great, this, this heavy weight on the end. Imagine yourself as a catapult. You're holding the rod like this, right? Arm out, hand up here. The weight at the end is the is like what you're flinging, right? So in order to get it out there, you want to keep this arm close to you, and the motion is like this. Do a vlog. All right, so now that we're back at home, the kids are going to be cooking for the parents today. So we're going to be cooking up some beer battered fish tacos. We got the salsa boys here. These two are going to make some salsa. So what's in there? It's just green peppers, tomatoes, cilantro, jalapeno red pepper, poblano pepper, nothing special. Do we need lime? Yes, we do. Steven is making, uh, what are you making here? Uh, crema. Crema, creamy, like, crema taco lime. sauce that we're gonna put on top of the beer battered fish tacos. Uh, I think Daniel's still sleeping. He's been tuckered out ever since fishing, so I'm gonna go wake him up. Daniel, wake up time. All right, how you feeling? Half asleep? Yeah. <laughs> it's been a long day. We also went to the gym before all this too, so we're tired, but we're making we're making the food for the fa the family today. We have ten people eating. Hey, look at our fish, Daniel. Nice. Whoa, look at that. Looks like snail eyes. Yeah. Oh, you're right. That was inside the pepper. Daniel, take a bite of that. Mmm, nothing. Wow. That's gonna be good on top of that oil with the fried fish. Whoa. Oh, that's a thick one. Wow. Perfect sauce. Smells song. good. Save that for later. Daniel, I'm gonna show you how to fillet a fish. Come here. Okay, so we're gonna start with these little fish first. They're a lot easier to do it. The easiest way to fillet this is just to cut right through it. That doesn't care. Turn your knife, just in one smooth motion, just get it all the way through. There we go, see that fillet? So fast with these little fish. Just follow the spine down. Done. Now we're gonna take the skin off. We'll put our finger on the skin back here on the tail. And just slice through like this. This takes just the skin off. Just 
So now we don't want the skin has scales on it. Then we're gonna trim off these bones here. There's just a little bit of bone left. Just make sure that the flay's bone free before we serve it. What the hell? <laughs> He's playing fruit ninja here. Now this big fish is gonna be a little bit different. This is a lot bigger. The bone structure is a little bit different. <laughs> what are you? <laughs> I've never seen a tomato like this. <laughs> you skinned it. <laughs> oh, I just hear it in the background. So creative. Alright, I'm doing the big old red fish now. Yay! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dude, this yeah. thing is nice. That's the first filet right there. Putting some wasabi salt on it. We're gonna eat it off its head. All right. Come on and try it. All right. Cheers. Oh, that's pretty good. Not bad. Mm. Is it chewy? Is it's a little it... chewy. It's white meat, not very fatty. The wasabi salt complements it very well. Aftertaste is um, very fresh. Very fresh, yeah. yeah I like fish. It. already today. I'm doing some seared redfish right here. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna put a little bit of wasabi salt. Alright, let's try one. Yeah. Suck you. 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 Suck Hey, mom. <laughs> I volunteer. Mm. All right, Daniel. Sweet. There you go. What's that? Salsa. Salsa. Oh. Whoa! You got it. You got it. <laughs> I wanted to take them there. Dude, you guys are gonna like this. The one that some we have chips? drama star. Somebody chips. ate all of this. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's you got a slap on the fish. <laughs> <laughs> Look at these nice fillets here. Completely ready to go. I'm just gonna check to see if there's any little bones left. If there are, just cut them off. Cut it down like this. You see all those red? You can eat it, but I don't love it. I don't like the red let the red bloodline, so I cut the bloodline out like this. You see how red it is? It's all blood. So we cut it so it's just white meat. Then I'm gonna cut it down again because we're making fish tacos. There we go. That looks nice. Cut it in half again. Wow, look at these chunks of meat here, guys. It's really nice. The mahjong table is coming out. <laughs> to make the beer batter. All right, pour out two and two thirds cups of the beer. Stop. Starting with the whiting. Oh yeah. First piece going in. Woo, looks like a little bit hot. There we go. First piece done. That was so quick. There's a whole new pack of little chops. Awesome. These are looking great here in the battle of the ball. Thank you. 
Try the ghost shrimp here that we were using as bait. We're gonna try and deer batter these and fry them up, see if they're any good. Look at that weird looking thing. Oh my goodness. I cannot wait to see Daniel try this. It's fine. They're gonna be like little popcorn shrimps, I bet you anything. I bet you they're gonna be pretty okay. Here's the ghost shrimp going into the beer batter. There we go, ready? Get more. Oh, get oh. I'm gonna fry more up first so we can all try at the same time. It's gonna like. Whoa! That was good. They probably taste like soft shell crabs. How is it good? Or is it Yeah, I watched them so many times. No, like the inside. How do they dig? It's like a shrimp funnel cake. They look pretty good. If they're good, I'm going to keep making them. Yeah. That definitely would yeah. see this. Oh my gosh, don't touch it yet. Who wants to try this fried steak? Oh it looks God. good. This, this is, so is good. ghost shrimp? Yeah. Brendan, he's breaking in. He's breaking in. No, wait. <laughs> <laughs> oh. All right, so we're going to put some lime on here. Ooh. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Your sleeves. Okay. Oh. I'm really hoping it's good. All right, who's up first? Alex? No, we all got to go all at the same time. All the same time. Let's see. Two, one, go ahead. Steven, you need one. Did you see his yeah, look? You're too eager, guys. You good? Well, I don't taste meat. Yeah, I just taste really crunchy. It's just really crunchy. Mmm. It's just crazy crunchy. Yeah. It's just crunchy. It's crunchy. There's no meat? I ate fried steak by accident. That was not. That was not. <laughs> It just tastes really crunchy. It's really crunchy. Doesn't taste like anything? He's a little salt. Is there a shrimp taste? No. No. Nope. Not really. Is it sandy? No. Not sandy. Kind of like a soft shell crab. Not bad. Not bad. Let me try. Mmm. Let's see what you think. It's good because it doesn't taste anything. I wonder what the nutritional value for it is. A lot of carotene. A lot of vitamins. Carotene? We should make some tacos out of it. I like it. Is it what you thought it would taste like, Dad? Yeah. I thought it had more yeah? meat. It didn't taste like anything. Yeah. There's no meat in there. Yeah. Except, uh, it tastes like a shrimp without shrimp in there. But like shrimp shell? Yeah. <laughs> but crispy. Yeah, we'll hold my phone to you guys right now. Go ahead, put it in there. It's soft. Like the body is soft. The body is soft, huh? But it doesn't taste it like anything. Me out, though, yeah, still. I know. I don't like thinking about the eyes. I don't like eating. thinking about what I'm eating. <laughs> All right, let's start eating. Okay, so here we've got fresh whiting. Whiting is the smaller fish. This one is the bigger fish. This is a red fish. And then we've got ghost shrimp here. Oh. I made some chicken in case people are, are uh, anti-pescatarian and they only eat chicken. <laughs> Coleslaw, Alex made his famous salsa right here. And then Steven made this famous crema. 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 Famous. We got corn tortillas and flour tortillas. I'm gonna do corn. Let's start this. Let's do it. Okay, I'm trying the whiting first higher. here. That looks so amazing. Mmm. Mmm. So good. Move on. Don't stand around. Move on. Move on. Don't play around. Come on. Doesn't matter. How's the fish, y'all? 
You like the fish? Yeah. Okay, good. Mm. This is this is mine, right here. Ooh. Take mine. That fish looks good. Mmm. What is? You got doll from last night too. <laughs> Fish, right? I don't think so. I didn't taste it fish, but it had a lot more. It had a lot more than red line there. Yeah. I cut it all out. But, uh, I just want to thank you guys all for watching. It was just so much fun hanging out with all my cousins on the beach catching fish, cooking it up, feeding it to my family, playing mahjong, just hanging around. This is what I go fishing for, because it's so fun to catch your own fish. It's free, and it's just something to do. I love going out to nature and doing this. I hope that you guys go out and do some, a similar adventure, maybe with your cousins, maybe with your family, maybe with your spouse. It's a great time. And if you want to learn how to catch fish, visit my website, heyskipperfishing.com. I've got a ton of awesome tips. I also have a lot of really... I also have a lot of really awesome products to help you catch fish, including our brand new fishing rigs. Thank you guys for watching. I got a kitchen to clean. See ya.